At this point, the hub is built, and uh, our next step is to glue these rings into the shoulder. Now, the bottom of the shoulder is going to have to come out, or you can just cut a hole. Um, I'm going to, I'll do the hole first. If it doesn't work, I'm going to cut it off. Um, to cut the hole, the hole is for the, the shaft, which is for that little hole right there. I'm going to cut it big. And I don't have to cut all the way through, I just have to score it. Okay, now I got it in one spot. I just need to score it. You just need to flex it back and forth and it should break. Which it's doing just fine. Okay. And then I want to stick one of the rings inside, and if it doesn't fit, um, this one's a little bit tight, so I'm just going to push it out, just sand it down just slightly. And I got some medium grit sandpaper here. flat inside. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And I want to test fit it into the tube, make sure it slides in, that we didn't um, expand it at all. Now I'm going to take some super glue, and I'm going to use, um, this is the Orderless brand. Um, it's also foam safe, and I'm going to Put a bead of glue around the perimeter there. Okay. And my kicker. Again, I just use a drop. You don't need a lot of kicker. If you spray it, you use a lot. Okay, so I got one ring in. Now I got to do the same for the other ring. This one's going to be a little bit harder because if it doesn't fit in there nice, um, it's going to be harder to push out. The uh, graphite rod can help you there. See, I'm just going to put the uh, disc on the rod. And this one can fit right into the shoulder, if you can see that. And then I'm going to glue that in place. Just making sure it's all aligned. Okay. Take a little kicker. All right, going good. Okay, and I can remove that dowel. Um, actually, I want to put it in through the other end. So I'm going to go through the hole, and then I got to come out the top hole. This one's a little tight, which is good because we want it tight. It's hard to do this. I'm trying to do this upside down so I can see it and you can see it at the same time. Find the hole. Okay, so it's just coming through the hole now. And I don't want to go too far through the hole. Um, I can go through about a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to put glue around the post.
like that. same thing on this side. Now all this uh, plastic on the bottom here is excess so if you want to save a little bit of weight you can shave that off. You can just take your uh, X-Acto knife and you can cut it off using the, uh, the wooden disc as a guide to cut. I'm just going to leave it on for, for my rocket. can always cut it off later. Okay, so that's glued on there. That's now permanent. And now we're going to take our nose cone and we're going to glue that onto the shoulder. Um, before you glue it on, slide it into the tube because sometimes you can get these things crooked. You know, your nose cone might be crooked and you might get a gap. So I want to make sure I don't have a gap. So I want to and I rotate it around and you want to use odorless on this plastic whenever possible. Um, thin works really well. I've got kind of medium here. I'm going to have to wipe it off because it's building up a little ridge and I don't want that in the rocket. Okay, so now our nose cone is glued on and our uh, hub can be slid onto the graphite rod. And you can see it's going to be about right there, which is good. See, we need a little bit of room right here for the rubber bands that we're going to put on later. So this is a test fit right now and everything seems to be working well. So. We'll pause here and then we'll come back and we'll continue working on this.